part two of the most fun and dominant offensive scheme in Madden 24, all ran in the spread offensive playbook. If you haven't watched part one yet, the link is in my description. Now let's get started. The first formation we will go over is bunch open. This formation is extremely unique, as you get a bunch set that's extended from the line, opposed to the regular formation bunch, which is closer to the line. And this extended bunch set could be a lot harder to guard for the user. The first play we are gonna go over is PA slots over. The setup is a deep ball one play touchdown against cover three. For this play, you just wanna make sure you are on a hash mark. For the adjustments, leave X on a post, put Y on a drag, and then A on a vertical. On the back side, put the solo receiver on a comeback route, then put your running back on a check and release. This will make the running back block for a few seconds and then go out for our route for your check down if you need it. Now when I snap the ball, you're gonna see the deep safety drop back into a deep middle zone and the corners drop back into a deep outside zone. This is a clear tell that the opponent is in a cover three shell because there are three deep zones. So your main read here is the post. If you see that the vertical is able to push back the one high safety, you will be able to hit your post up the middle away from the safety. Also notice that the deep right of the field is wide open because the comeback route pulled the deep third down to create space for the post, which turned into a huge play down the field. If the route is not open though, your next reads are the drag and the check down by the running back. Now when you run this play against a cover 2 or 4, you will have the same exact setup, except you're going to keep the solo wide receiver on a streak. Then your read here is to try and hit the post receiver as soon as he makes his cut. That is because in cover 2 or 4, there will be a deep safety on the other side of the field, so you want to be sure to throw the ball before the receiver can be reached by the other safety. If the safety ends up playing the ball well, click on the receiver to come back to the ball by aggressively catching it by pressing Y or triangle before the defender can make a play. Against a man defense in this play, we have two different setups. In the first setup, you're going to see that the cornerbacks and the safeties were all directly lined up over our receivers. That is a tell that the defense is in a man coverage. So I set up my man beater by putting the solo receiver on a slant and motioning him in towards the line. Then put A on a zig, Y on a drag, and for extra blocking and a check down route, put the running back on a check and release route. When you snap the ball, check if there is any safety over the top. If there isn't, read the deep post to hit down the field. If that is not open though, read the zig and the drag. If any of these routes are open, give it to them for an easy catch and throw. The great thing about this play is that every route is capable of beating man coverage, so the user will have a tough time defending each route. The next man beater will have your opponent in shambles. In this play, my opponent was in a cover one man defense. The reason I knew this is because the defensive backs were all lined up directly over my receivers, all while having one deep safety. So for the adjustments, I put X on a post, Y on a slant, and A on a zig. Then motion the running back to the other side and put him on a wheel route. On the back side, I put the solo receiver on a smoke screen. The reason I did this is because I did not want this defender to interfere with any of the crossers going to this side of the field. So the smoke screen kept the defender near the line of scrimmage away from the other routes. Your first three reads will be the slant, post, and then the wheel route. But if you do not like the look post snap, look at the underneath zig route by the inside receiver. This will get open 99% of the time for your check down route. The next play we will go over in this formation is flood. This will be your main zone beater against stock zones like cover two, three, or four. This play has no adjustments, so this will work as your quick snap play before your opponents can make any adjustments. Your main read is the corner route. Watch the vertical to make sure he is able to pull the deep outside zone away from the corner route. If he's able to do this, the corner will have a ton of space to throw an open ball for a good game. In the play flood, you can also set up some great man beaters. In this play, I saw that there was no deep safeties and each defender was lined up over my receivers. So this was an easy tell that this was an all out man blitz. So what I did was motion the solo wide receiver towards the line, then I put the running back on a wheel and Y on a drag. And in many man blitzes, you will see that the backside safety is actually manned up on the running back. So once I saw that, all I had to do was snap the ball and quickly give it to my running back for a one play touchdown. But if your running back is not open, your next reads will be the corner route. 
Then the 10 yard in and the drag coming from the bunch on the strong side of the field as a check down route. Now in this play against man coverage, you can also change it up by using the same exact adjustment on the weak side. But on the strong side, put the Y receiver on a drag, then the A receiver on a zig route. This is more for short yardage situations, but it's always good to change your route combo so you do not become predictable. Now these pass plays are dominant. So once your opponent starts worrying about the pass, that's when you'll utilize inside zone. Although this is a simple run play, when you get the opponent to spread out his defense to stop the pass, this run will do great things to keep your opponents on his heels. The next formation we will go over is called Box Offset Weak, and the play is called Verticals. In this play against a man coverage, motion the running back to the solo receiver side and put him on a streak. Then, put the outside receiver on a comeback. On the strong side, put your outside receiver on a drag, which will be your check down route. And your main read here is the comeback route as the rest of the routes are supposed to take the user away so you can get your best receiver in isolation. And when you see the receiver is one on one, throw the comeback route as soon as he is making his cut. This will create more separation for an easy pitch and catch for a big chunks of yards. Now in this play against a cover three zone with one high safety and the outside corners eight yards off the ball, we will set up a zone beater. The way we will do that is by putting B on a comeback and X on a drag. And a really cool thing that you will see against a stock cover three is that the curl flat defender will actually end up following the wheel route here, which completely opens up the comeback route and the drag route coming across the field. So with this route concept, you can completely manipulate a cover three zone and have your opponent in shambles. For the last part of the video, let's go over a red zone play. The formation we will go over is called Monster. The formation has three alignment in the middle with two other lines on the outside. The play we will go over is RPO Zone Alert. You want to check if you have a numbers advantage on the outsides or inside. Here you can see that the numbers are pretty even. So then we go to our post snap reads. If you see the DN start to attack the smoke screen to the outsides, you can hand the ball off for an easy run. So in this play, I saw that on the right side it was a two on two. When I snapped the ball, I felt it was too crowded in the middle to run the ball. So I threw it to my smoke screen. One thing to know here is that I did not press the right trigger at all. Because of that, the blocks held up and no one was able to tackle me before I scored. Now that is part two of the spread offensive scheme. Let me know if you have any questions about the plays and if you enjoyed the video and how the scheme is working for you. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you next video.